Parents have read it, when in your eyes did your children become adults? I've 4 kids, 3 are 27, 1 is 22, I would say that it came on me slowly that they were now adults, not one particular incident, but more a series of choices they made that were ones where they put aside current happiness for long term rewards, they were making adult decisions in adult ways, and deserved to be treated as adults, of course. It is amusing to me to see them act in childish ways anytime they all get together. Because no matter how adult they are, they will always be siblings. My daughter went away to school and lived in an apartment with other students. She came home about a month later for the weekend and I noticed she cleaned the kitchen after using it. Her bed was made and her room tidy every morning. She never would have done that a month prior. I was stunned that she changed her habits so quickly. She grew up quick. My wife passed away when my son was almost 14. Knowing that my wife's condition was terminal, I worried that he would have severe difficulties after she passed. However, it was I who had a breakdown and my son took care of me for months afterwards. I'll never forget. When my son had his son, I saw him holding his boy, the way I once held him, and I had this moment of complete, warm, silent peace. I knew that the world would not come to a bad end, that our problems could be solved, and that there would be as many generations in the future as there have been in the past. It was great and I think about it all the time. When he was able to sit on the porch with me and just have a conversation about life. When my daughter started wanting to pay her own way when I would take her to the movies or out to eat, I'm still not used to this concept. Just asked my mom. She said it's never gonna happen. I'm always a little boy. One of my three daughters is 8 years old. Last Halloween we go out trick or treating. And we get back home early because their bags were full and it was getting cold. Someone knocks on the door. Obviously a kid. And my wife and Elle look at each other with the oh face. We forgot to get candy to hand out. My 8 year old reads our faces. Grabs her stash opens the door, and gives a big heaping handful of treats to Cinderella, and calls her your majesty. The other two, 10 and 3, wordlessly proceed to do the same thing. We spend the next two hours on the porch, handy my daughter's candy out to the neighborhood kids till their bags were empty. No one even complained. I was so proud of this selfless act. The next day after work I went to Walmart for the biggest bucket I could find, and filled it full of candy. Not the crappy double bubbles and tootsie rolls either. I told them how much I loved them and how proud I was of what they did that night. They're still children. But that was the most adult thing I've ever seen them do. Edit thanks for all the positive feedback and the gold everybody. For all the soon to be parents asking for advice. Just remember to have fun with your kids and sneak life lessons in the fun. They grow up so fast. So enjoy all the time you have with them and never hold a grudge. My daughter dropped out of college at age 18 to marry her 27 year old boyfriend. She would not listen to anything her mother or I had to say about it. Because she had no college degree or work experience. She spent a year working for a telephone answering service. Then she came back to us and said. I screwed up. I shouldn't have dropped out. Can you help me go to nursing school? We did help her. As much as we could. About $800 a month. Her husband didn't like it though, and presented her with an ultimatum. Either me or nursing school. She divorced his sorry ass, and went on to become an intensive care unit RN. And she got her first haiku job. That's when I realized she was now an adult. After 10 years experience, she makes about $80,000 a year. Her ex-husband is making about $23,000. May he roast in hell. I asked my mother and she said, I don't know. You just, grew up and it. When the judge charged him as an adult. The day when my grandson told my son he hated him. My son was home for a few weeks from the Marine Corps. During this time he was injured pretty severely in a car accident when a drunk driver hit his vehicle. While injured from the collision and waiting for the authorities to arrive, my son pulled the unconscious man, who had just dealt him injuries that would require over a year of physical therapy from his vehicle to make sure he was okay. My 13 year old thinks she's 18 and acts like she's 6. By my calculations she'll act 18 when she's 39. Have a long way to go. 
when he finished basic training in the US Army. We went to visit him and for the first time I truly understood what the saying meant. To stand tall. That little kid suddenly had broad shoulders, was standing straight, and had an air of confidence about him that could not be denied. He walked tall as well, showing us around camp, pointing out the different sections of where he had done his training. I could not have been more proud of the man he had become in those moments. Of course, a few weeks later after they assigned him permanent housing at his new base he locked himself out of his apartment and ended up having to call his mom for help advice because he didn't know what to do. My son is 30 years old and has been a surgery resident for 3 years now. I still mostly see him as my baby boy. I haven't gotten to see him as much as I would like since he went to medical school at 23. So a lot of the maturation he has gone through is lost on me. But one Thanksgiving. Two years ago. He was on call and had to leave in the middle of dinner for an emergency operation. The way he confidently got out of his chair. Stood up tall and put on his jacket before kissing me and other family members goodbye. Knowing an hour later he would be operating on somebody was really a wow moment for me. It was one of the first times I saw him as a grown, responsible man with a place in this world besides being just my baby boy. This is actually an incredible question. I have only one kid myself, and the relationship I have with him wasn't the greatest during his youth. The day I really realized that my boy was growing up was not too long ago. I was doing some work around the yard, and he came and asked dad, can I ask you a question? So I said, sure. After that he asked me what I make an hour. So I told him that I make 37 euros an hour, before taxes. Of course, I'm from Holland. He then asked me can I borrow 50 bucks? To which I replied if the only reason you asked me about my pay is so that you can borrow some money to buy some random bottle of booze. You can get away from my house. You know I don't support that. He quietly looked at me, thinking to himself in deep thought. I just got angrier about my boy's question. How dare he ask me about money after all I did for him. But then I thought, maybe there's something he really needs for those 50 bucks. So I say I'm sorry son. Here's the cash. So a day later he comes back. And I ask him where he needed the cash for. His reply was I needed to buy a good pair of pants so I can apply for this job. Needless to say, I was incredibly proud of him. From that moment I realized that my little boy had become a man. Prioritizing a job above messing around with his friends. I then asked him, son, was there any change? He replied yes. About 3 fifty, Which he refused to give back. It was about that time I realized my son was a 7 stories tall crustacean from the Paleolithic era. The damn Loch Ness monster had gotten me again. Damn it. Monster. You ain't getting no 3 fifty. TL. DR. Son wanted to borrow money, was for serious stuff instead of booze. Edit, duck you whoever gave me gold, be ashamed. It wasn't so much when I considered him an adult, but it was one of those when did he get old enough for this to be a thing moments. For part of his Christmas present during his senior year of high school, he wanted to take an avalanche safety and rescue course. So, I called to get him registered. The woman on the phone was taking all the relevant information and said, I'm going to mail the paperwork to you. You'll need to fill out the forms and bring them. And there's a release for you to sign. Then she stopped and said, Oh, never mind. He won't need your permission since he'll have turned 18 by then. Realizing my baby boy could sign up for something like an avalanche rescue course without my permission was a big deal. Not a parent. But my mom told me about the moment she realized I was an adult. I got a job in the oil field out of college. I spent the first two years of my career working in the field out of my hometown. After that, I moved across the country for an office job. When I came home for Thanksgiving, I caught a flight home right after work. She was incredibly surprised to see me in nice clothes, a nice jacket, the clean cut hair. In her words, I was expecting to see you, but not a grown up version of you. She took a few seconds to recognize me. It felt good. I'm not a parent. It just reminded me of a story. My father has had two sons go to war. I remember surprising him and my mother when I received Rando from Iraq my first deployment. Most of all, I remember leaving in the airport to go back. I was on one of those little flat escalator things. 
whatever the duck they are called, in uniform and going back to war. My dad just stood past security and watched me the whole way. I remember casually looking at him the whole. I know what went through his head. His son was going back to war. He watched me the whole time because I know he knew it could be the last time he saw me in full health. I was no longer his jackass kid who ducked around in high school and did well in college only to join the army. I was leaving him as his son who was going to do what I chose. I can't imagine what he thought because I may not have come back. I did come back and came back more multiple times. I'll never forget though hugging him and saying goodbye that time. It was as if it could be our last. My son was 8 when I decided it was time he needed to grow up. So on a camping trip I tricked him. Leaving him alone in a forest full of wolves in the dead of winter. When he returned 2 years later I was surprised. I now treat him as an equal. My boy did not become a man until he put on gloves filled with bullet ants. I'm told by my mother that she considered me an adult when I made the decision against her will to join the Marine Corps. Well, for my dad it was late. Like in my early 20s. I did the exact thing he didn't want me to do. Leave his care. And it gained me respect as an adult. I told him I was moving to another city with only couple hundred bucks. He told me I wasn't welcome in his home anymore. I was 21. I found a room. Rode the Greyhound. Found a job. Had sex a few times with this hunk of man before moving on. And got my life together. He came to visit me and I had all of my ducks in a row. That's when he welcomed me back in his home. For the record. I was not a problem child. Or even close to it. But at 20 I had a manic episode and my family found it hard to accept some of the behavior I still had even taking medication. As a child of wonderful parents. This topic has been of interest to me lately, as I've been going through some medical weirdness. Informing my mother that the MRI found a bone tumor that looked aggressive. And I would be going to get a CT, bone scan, and biopsy to see if it's malignant or not was totally fine. She essentially just said, oh wow, that's awful. Glad you're on top of your appointments. Let me know how it goes. She understood that I've got it under control and can handle it. On the other hand, my boyfriend's parents, BF and I have been together 3.5 years, living together for 2.5, freaked the duck out and insisted that his father come to my appointments with me because we needed an adult involved. This was shocking to me, since my mother had never doubted my position as an individual capable of making decisions, even when I was a teenager. Suddenly, this man, who I met when I was already legally an adult, was treating me as though I was a kid. Not a patent, but I realized my sister became an adult when she started to give red envelopes to my parents for holidays festive weekends. Red envelopes are normally handed out by Asian parents so having the roles being reversed showed a lot of maturity initiative. Just asked my father this, I'm 22. His response was he thought I was grown up when went on a rugby tour when I was 16. But when he thought I wasn't a child anymore was at 20 when I helped build my grandmother's garage with him like he was it he can actually help. Off the tit at 18. We made it perfectly clear that when they turned 18. They had to be in college or have a full time job. College got to live with us free. On college had to pay rent which we saved for their down payment and move in expenses on their own pad. All four kids 21-25 are doing well and supporting themselves. We feel as parents we have to be a safety net for our kids. Not a crutch. When they bought their own toilet paper. Well as a parent my children will always be my kids. It wasn't one moment but slow progression. When they did their own taxes was a big moment. Other moments. Realizing they haven't asked me for money in the months. Graduating college. Asking for advice about their co-workers handling the boss. ETC. Being a parent is the only job. Where you work hard to make your job useless. Not needed. I'm in my 40s. Parents still haven't figured it out yet even though I've been married well over a decade. Several college degrees. Own our own house and vehicles and pay for everything. Go figure. 24. 22 and 11. The 24 year old. He was 20, and an expectant father. He and his wife came over to my house when they first found out, we both smoke. 
so when he lit up a cigarette he was a little surprised when I said you can't do that around my grandchild. Take it outside. He had gotten in the habit since he turned 18 of arguing and getting offended when anyone said anything about what he was doing or suggested anything to him. But he just had a look of enlightenment come across his face. Said thank you. And went outside. He's been a full adult to me since then. And a great, if nerve wracking, father. The others haven't made it there yet. Edit. The others. One is 11. The other is my daughter. Has been competent and level headed. 99.5% of the time. Since she was 14. There probably isn't anything I wouldn't trust her with or to do the right thing about but. She's my little girl. Always will be. So that whole adult thing just doesn't enter into the discussion. My mother says she has a hard time seeing me and my siblings as adults. My brother's in the navy and I'm working full time building a career and my sister is still at home sadly. But helping mom out. When your son asks for the keys to your car for a date. And $50. With a promise to repay. And lets you know in a believable way that he'll be back safely. And that he'll show you that your words of care haven't been wasted on him. Then he gets back in time. Car perfect. And within one week of working his part time job. Repays you without a word. And throws in extra money for gas. That's how you know he's an adult. Should try it again with a serious tag. According to my mom. Me and my sister are both adults. It's when we started speaking to her like a peer. Instead of just a parent. I have no idea what that means. But it sounded nice. Apparently. Also when I started picking up after myself. Which he just now informed me I didn't do this afternoon. Whoops. When she fist posted on I gone wild. When I went in to clean up his room and found open condom wrappers. I was glad to see he was using them but I don't help him keep his room clean anymore. Reverse realization. I.e. when I, as a child, realized I'd grown up. I took my dad to work one night. I was a pilot for a small freight company. With approval he could join me flying in my small twin engine plane. That night the weather was bad. Very low clouds. Rain. And bumpy. On the first takeoff we entered the clouds within seconds of lift off. 200 FT. I looked to my right and realized that for the first time. My dad was totally reliant on me. Rather me being reliant on him. We flew for about an hour in rain and clouds and saw nothing but clouds in between the two runways. I proceeded to approach and break out of the clouds about 200 feet above the destination runway hundreds of miles away. He explained that he thought we were getting close and was very impressed when the runway just appeared in front of us. It was a cool feeling. I asked my mom. She said she will let me know when. Today. I groaned about going to work. My son promptly said. If you don't go to work you don't get any money. And you need money right? He's 3 and he understands life better than I do. When they started pay all of their bills and no longer lived at home. When I dropped her off at preschool and she told me go dad. Don't you have work to do? When they bailed me out of jail and co-signed my mortgage. My dad says it was when he witnessed me taking care of my sick fiance. He said that was when he truly knew I had the whole responsibility thing down. Also, when I graduated boot camp. Also when I deployed. Also when I came home. Also when I started college. Comma he keeps going and I think he's about to cry. Oh. God. He's hugging me. This thread is making me sad. Time to go out and make something of myself. I saw the moment my mom realized I was an adult. I live a few hours from home and my mom came to visit for a weekend. The first morning she was there I woke her up by skateboarding from my room into the living room. She started the usual motherly rant. Get off that. You're going to break something or hurt yourself. Then she had a blank look on her face as she realized it. You know what. I don't have to pay for you if you get hurt. Skate in your own house. You're a grown ass man. I'm 27. My 2 year old just learned his ABCs. We're working in job applications next. Hopefully he'll be an adult by 4ish. I'm trying not to grow up. My mom sends delicious homemade meals and cookies as well as the yearly birthday custard pie. If I grow up all that stops. Duck that. Whoa. I've never been called an adult before. 
I've been tried as one. When he started being responsible and started to use serious tags. My neighbor is around 80. I was over there once while she was talking on the phone with her mother and answering questions like a teenager would. Yes I know it will be cold out I'll wear a jacket. I know it's slippery outside I'll be careful. After seeing that I don't know if it ever happens. For my grandpa's birthday, my dad and I drove down to his trailer to trim some of his trees and put in a flagpole we'd bought for him. When my dad was on the ladder, my grandpa was really really on top of my dad. Telling him exactly what to do as if he were coaching a small kid. My dad told him dad. I'm 45 now. I can handle it. My grandpa said no matter how old you get. I still see my 5 year old little boy doing something that can get him hurt. Really struck me. I guess for some people. Never. I started singing a song that my mom never knew. She asked me how I knew the words. And I told her that I heard it around. Or something equally snarky and useless as only a teen can say. I saw the look in her eyes as she realized she was no longer my portal to the world and I was learning and experiencing on my own.